Did you know you can now rent SpaceX Starlink hardware? Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today we have a little bit of misty morning, and that is it. Clean, refreshing. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking photo, talking video. Today is a tech day. We're going to be talking about a brand new SpaceX Starlink rental service. What? You can rent SpaceX Starlink? Well, that's what a lot of folks, you folks, have told me in the messages, in my DMs, in my email, in my everything. It's like, Joe, do you know we can now rent hardware? Well, kind of, sort of. Not everyone yet, but maybe soon, everyone. I wanted to cover this topic because even if it's not available in your country as of yet, it might be soon. So before we get into it, I want to say that if you haven't downloaded any of my eBooks as of yet, go check them out. Go over to jchristina.com forward slash books. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash books. They are free. Also, if you enjoy this content, even in the least, please consider throwing it a thumbs up. That'll be very helpful. And then click this little button over here. So when I go live or when a new video comes out, you will be notified of it immediately. And if you want to get more Starlink content, I put together a Starlink playlist. I'll put a link over here. That playlist has about 120, 125 videos in it so far. Helpful how-tos, tips, tricks, what to do, what not to do, what to buy, what not to buy, why. Once again, why is very important on this channel. Also, if you just want to say thank you for all of my hard work, there's a little thank you button down there that YouTube gave us. If you use it, that'd be great. If not, even better if you just become a member of the channel. That would be awesome. Anyways, let's get right into this rental process. Um, I looked at this and I said, you know, this is kind of fascinating because rental is such a big thing right now when it comes to software, hardware, everything. Everything has become like this rental model, this lease. You never own anything, right? You pay in perpetuity. You know, I hate it. But I still want to cover it because some people might be able to use it. Companies like Comcast and Xfinity and AT&T and Ma Bell, Bell Atlantic, Our Bell over here, they all rent stuff. They're always renting hardware. They're renting either their routers, modems. They're renting some type of gear. Way back in the day, we used to rent our phones. <sighs> That might show my age. But yeah, you used to actually pay Ma Bell for a phone, X number of dollars per month, and you would have that device. They would bring it to you, and maybe if it went bad after two, three years, they'd bring you a new one. But they would get money from you every single month. That was like the original lease program, right? And it was smart. It was absolutely brilliant. We see Adobe doing it now. Instead of you buying an Adobe package, you have to rent it. And once again, pay in perpetuity. At nauseam, there is no end. You will just pay forever, right? So that's the same kind of thing that's happening here. So I want to get into this and show you what it's all about. Let me bring over my screen here so you can see. We're at Starlink.com. Let's go ahead and click on Support. We'll do some research here. Let's type in rent. The very first recommended topic says, what is rent a Starlink option? So let's twirl this down and let's see what it says. Here we go. Customers in select markets can rent Starlink for a one-time activation price and a monthly hardware rental price. Check the online ordering page for the price details per country. Renting offers a flexible option to get started with Starlink Internet for customers in select countries. Currently, this offer is only available in the United Kingdom. Starlink kits may only be rented for the fixed residential service and is not available for business maritime mobile mobile or RV service. Services build on a month-to-month -month basis and can be canceled at any time. If canceled, your service will remain active until the end of the payment period. If you have rented a Starlink kit, you must return your equipment in good condition within 30 days of service cancellation or you will be charged the full price of the kit, as described on our online order page. Starlink will issue you a return shipping label to allow you to return the kit. Follow instructions in Starlink's return policy for return rented kits in the Starlink customer portal. So guys, this is what it tells us. And 
What we notice here is it is a UK thing as of right now. Like I said, this is not something that is worldwide as of yet, but what I think that they're doing here is they're using the UK as like a Petri dish to see what grows. Does it work out? Does it not work out? How much money can we get? And that gets us to the question of how much will it cost? Now, I got a lot of emails and DMs and messages of all types talking about this rental thing that was going on. And one of the nice guys, his name is John Hill, sent me over a screenshot of his phone, which actually has the offer. So let's take a look at that real quick. So here it is. Now, what does it say? Starlink is now offering the option to rent hardware with residential service plans throughout the United Kingdom. Hardware can be rented for £15 per month versus the full purchase price of £460 with a one-time activation of £99. Monthly service is £75 per month. There are no long-term contracts. Both hardware rental and service are charged month to month. Try Starlink for 30 days and if not satisfied, return the hardware for a full refund of your £99 activation or your £460 if purchased. To learn more about Starlink rentals, read our fact page or our updated terms of service. Now, this right here is very interesting because obviously this is not for the entire world. This is only for the UK. So we don't know exactly what's going to happen here in the US. Now, what I did was a conversion of the UK pound, pound sterling in comparison to dollars just to see what it would be if this does come to the US. And I'll talk to you about that in just a second. If I think it will, or it won't. Now, the hardware itself, that rental fee over in the UK is 15 pound. That translates into, let's say, $18 US. So let's call it 20 bucks. The kit price, now, if you were to buy the entire kit, is $545, which is 460 pound. Now, the activation cost is 75 pound. That converts to about $89 US. And the monthly price is 99 pound, which is $100. $17 US. Let's call it 120 bucks. So that's almost identical to what we're paying here in the US right across the board. The conversion is pretty close to what we would pay here in the US. So what does this mean? If rental does come to the US, we're probably going to pay about $20 a month to rent the hardware. That's it. And there'll most likely be an activation fee of about $89, maybe $99 here in the US. And your monthly cost will probably be that 120 bucks. But will it come to the US? Now, I was thinking about this for a bit, and it reminds me of a video that I did about two or three videos ago about how the monthly cost for SpaceX Starlink has been going up, and now they're moving it from $110 to $120. And at the time, I said, you know, when I look at the map where we see a waiting list and a non-waiting list, where they were going to go down in the price, down to like $90 in comparison to going up in price up to $120, that was a very few people that I noticed according to the map. And I speculated it was going to be about 70% of the people would see an increase in price because 70% of the US market is saturated. It is oversold. Matter of fact, let's head over to my desktop. I wanna show you something. Now, this is a poll that I did right around the time that I released that video, and I said, hey, I have a question for you guys. Are you a Starlink customer? And if you are, are you seeing an increase in your monthly charge, a decrease, or is it staying the same? And there's that 70% that I predicted. Literally 77% of the people out of 1,100 people, right around there, it says 1.1K, that voted 77% of you guys said that your monthly fee was going up, while a mere 6% said that it was going down. Now that is a major, major discrepancy between the two. How many people are seeing that their rate is going down in comparison to going up? I predicted 70%, we're seeing about 77%. Now, some of those 17% that said that it's staying the same, it might not be staying the same. It's going to change. So which side are they going to end up with? I don't know. But we can see there is a major disparity. Now, that being said, this to me means that the United States 
let's say the majority of it is oversold. We are simply at capacity. There's no more rooms in the inn, so to speak. So understanding that, I have a feeling that they're not going to release this rental service, this rental means of being able to get the equipment anytime soon here in the US. While in the UK, I'm certain that if you looked at this proportionally, let's say how many people are actually in an area that says available in comparison to an area that says waiting list, I'm gonna guarantee you in the UK, there is a lot more currently available, a lot less people. So I can see this rental method as a means to bring people in that are using another service to try out SpaceX Starlink. Whereas here in the United States, they're trying to get rid of people, if anything. We can't even handle them all here in the US. That's just the way it is. Matter of fact, the way they're doing it now is if you want to get residential or business coverage, they're saying, well, you can't get it as of right now in your location, but we could put you on a best effort type of service. Now, what that means is you're going to get reduced speeds during peak times, during times of network congestion, your speeds are going to be lowered, whereas the people that actually have the true residential or business coverage, they will have priority access or priority service speeds, let's call it. So this is actually good. And I tell a lot of people that want to get into SpaceX Starlink, get best effort because it's my understanding understanding is that you do not fall out of place in line when you do accept the best effort. So what happens is, is you can use SpaceX Starlink for, let's say, six months or a year while you're on that waiting list. And as soon as you get off the waiting list and now you have residential or you have business coverage, your speeds will just simply go up. So for me, I really don't think that we're going to see rental here anytime soon. I could be wrong. We'll see what ends up happening with it. But I hope you found this interesting. I know I did. I want to thank you guys for bringing this to my attention. Once again, this is all about community. This isn't about me. I'm giving you the information, but you guys are providing it to me so I can share it with the majority. So anyways, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this content, as I said before, throw it a thumbs up. That'll be very helpful. Click this little button over here so when I go live and when a new video comes out, you'll be notified of it immediately. If you just want to say thank you, once again, there is that thank you button down there or just become a member of the channel. Finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools I've invented for you and me over the years. And hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me and my family. That's it, guys. I'm out of here for yet another vlog. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next one. Love you all.